This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. This portion of Lee Pitts Live is brought to you by Hodges University, celebrating 25 years of educating Southwest Florida. Special shout out to my director, John. He's doing an outstanding job uh, with Lee Pitts Live. Again, we're at this Lee Pitts Student Union at Hodges University right here in Fort Myers on Winkler and Collier. And uh, speaking of Hodges University, higher education, we got some distinguished educated black men here on the show today and so we're delighted to have Tawaski Jackson the director of client services for the housing authority of Fort Myers and Martin Bird public relations director for Lee County Black History Society and a local celebrity in his own right gentlemen uh, they bumped you in boom it's really good tell me uh, Tawaski about the upcoming Juneteenth event and how does it impact the community? The Juneteenth Father's Day event is a national event that is actually encouraged by the Housing and Urban Development mm -hmm. uh, to partner with local agencies as well as federal and state agencies to encourage our absent fathers to become an active part of their children's lives. What are we seeing out there now in terms of the lack of fathers in children's lives? Well, according to data obtained from the U.S. Census, uh, 24 million American children go to live in a home with, uh, without a father. Mm. And uh, of course, when there's an absence of that male figure or, or role model, that's when crime and other uh, severe, severe issues occur. So it is our goal to work with local agencies and state agencies and to partner together so that we can bridge that gap so that we can reconnect our families to those to the children's lives so that we can encourage them to uh, be more positive and to do things that will make their children thrive. Excellent. What is client services? We see that's your title. Client services is a department that was created so that we can provide supportive services and other programs to assist families to move toward economic self-sufficiency. Excellent. Now, uh, Martin, you are the you know public relations guy, and we're also a, a celebrity in your own right on television yeah. uh, with community TV, Jesse. We yeah. plugging you to death, Jesse. Um, how how do, how explain the partnership with you and the Housing Authority, the Lee County Black History Society? Lee County Black History has been working with the Housing Authority in different um, facets about three years now with the Juneteenth Father's Day celebration. The Father's Day part is the housing authority. Lee County Black History focused more on the Juneteenth holiday, which is celebrating the emancipation um, when it got down to the South. Okay. We take two pieces this year. Our two pieces is presenting our first annual scholarship, Lee County Black History Scholarship, as well as we're um, bringing a traveling exhibit down, mm -hmm. MLB, they were all stars. That's excellent. So uh, tell us about this exhibit. When people come on that particular day, they can see this exhibit. Um, the exhibit will be imposed of major league all-stars that also pl played in the Negro baseball leagues. So there'll be different uh, platforms set up. It'll tell about the players as well as statistics and a little about their history. And it's perfect setting saying that we're, we are actually doing the event in Roberto Clemente Park. Okay, let's stay right there with you on this now. Uh, Juneteenth and the, the father's and children get together day. It's all working. To, it's, it's happening simultaneously together, right? All together, and, all together. In the park. Yes, sir. Uh, now, uh, the Emancipation Proclamation, when it was signed by Abraham Lincoln, that was a quite a long break before the t by the time it was signed and before people found out about it. Hence, it was way over in June, some years later. Yeah. Was it years later or months later? Uh, before it traveled. Anyway, yeah. I won't get too caught up yeah. in that and make people think I don't know my, my black history. <laughs> but anyway, that's a good thing to celebrate. Yes. And it's, a, it's a good opportunity there. The, um, uh, uh, what can people expect to happen on that particular day, Tawaski? The day of June 20th, uh, many activities and festivities will take place. We have sports competitions. Uh, the City of Fort Myers Stars Complex uh, is overseeing the sports aspect. So the competition will be, we have a youth basketball competition as well as an adult basketball competition and youth and adult kickball. Mm -hmm. We'll have stage performances, live entertainment, music, and we'll also have community agencies uh, to table the event where they will be able to give information on their programs and services 
to those in attendance. So that's a, a community uh, collaboration going on. Yes, a community collaboration, and that's the focus, is to get local agencies together as well as federal agencies come together. How can we address the needs in our local community? Okay. So it's a day filled with fun and live entertainment and much more. All right, give the location of uh, Clemente Park, uh, 30, the main streets, yeah. 3265 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, Fort Myers, Florida. 33916 and uh, the time will be 12 noon to 4 p.m. Okay now uh, Martin I've noticed when I've passed there that park has undergone a wonderful renovation. Uh, it's a great place for a lot of events to take place now. Speak to that. Definitely. Um, Black History actually operates one of the buildings so we rent out our multi-purpose room. There's a huge um, different uh, canopies of sort in the park. They actually just installed a bench and tables. So it's an excellent place for a family to spend time. Okay, what about children when they come out? They have bounce houses, things like that for them? Keep the kids occupied as well? Definitely, definitely um, face painting, that different stuff. Um, we have, a, there's multiple playgrounds out there. So there'll be plenty of activities for the students. To okay, do. tell us, uh, Tawaski, how did this whole concept arise? Uh, has it been around for some years? And what's been the response from the public who come out to participate each year? Well, about three or four years ago, our executive director uh, noticed that uh, there was a Juneteenth event taking place the same day we held our Father's Day event. Mm. So in an effort to work together, we decided to contact the Black History Society to join efforts so that we could join efforts and put on a nice event for the community where the community could enjoy not only Juneteenth festivities, but also Father's Day festivities. I think that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, and it's been working out pretty good. Great partnership. We love working with the Housing Authority whenever we can, even after Juneteenth. Okay, I need one phone number we're gonna have, we gotta have on the screen. Give one phone number that people can call for more information. Those interested or would like more information about the Juneteenth Father's Day event can call area code 239 Three three two, three eight two five. Okay, and uh, of course you've been getting a chance to see that number on the screen. Uh, before we go, about ten seconds left. Go ahead and plug your your online TV show. CommunityTV1.com is pillars of success. Uh, we're sitting down with a bunch of community guys who's doing great things. I'm um, trying to fall in the steps of the great Mr. Lee Pitts live. <laughs> That's my protege. He's doing a great job. Be sure to tune in and catch him on Pillars yes. of Success, Martin. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure having you both on the show. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. Looking much. forward to getting you back in the future, okay? Definitely. Lee Pitts Live, of course, is the media sponsor of this event. Let's, uh, let's bump you guys out. Let everybody know there's nothing in this cup, these cups that is illegal. We'll be right back. Lee Pitts Live. Talking to LaShawn.